don't know where we're up to. But Nitty Retreat podcast. Yes, we're back. We're nearly healthy. Hurrah! I'm fine. She's... I, I have Man minutes flu. from death. Minutes. Yeah, milliseconds, possibly. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm Nitty and she's in charge... I'm in charge of the notes. Yes. She's in charge of making sure we tell you everything we were supposed to tell you. Yeah. Which is probably just as well. I need a, a sock. I don't have a sock on the needles at the moment. Well, I nearly don't. I'm doing a toe. You nearly don't. I was doing a toe the last time we podcasted and I lost track of my decreases, so be warned. It's not that difficult. It's only every other row. Well, I, mm, show off. <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. Um, this is the podcast to announce the second retreat knit along. So thank you very much to everybody who took part in the Anakin Alice knit along. Yeah, loads um, of people have been taking loads part. Loads of people, loads yeah. Of which, when we're recording this... There's still about nine or ten days to go on the Anakin knit along, so we haven't, um, (laughs) when we're recording this, so not everyone would have finished. Nine or ten days. Look at the date on your book, it's the 17th. Oh, four days, there's four (laughs) days left. Um, So yeah, thank you to everyone who took part in that, I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah, there's some lovely things been made. Yeah. I haven't been as active in the thread as I am. Might have been, so I'll try and catch up now this weekend. No, but there's some really nice chats going on in there, and there's been drama. People were running out of yarn and having to order more. Oh, my days. I know. Yeah, from abroad, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 That, that was like making mum. Yeah. Yeah. That that's was a bit of a sweaty, drama. sweaty moment, that was. That is where running your own yarn shop definitely comes in handy. Definitely. Yeah. So I thought I would share my Anna Canalis Knit Along progress with you. And then I'll share mine. Are you ready? Brace yourselves. Hurrah! <laughs> Hold it up to the camera. Hold Come it on. up to the camera. Zoom Hang in. Hang a sec. Yeah, that's the right side. Look! Oh, isn't to it be pretty? fair, it's very pretty and there's beaded picots. I reckon, right, I double dog dare you to cast that off and wear it as a brooch at the retreat. A bit limp. Well, block it. No. Dear Henry, dear Henry, dear Henry. (laughs) No, I don't think so. It's a lovely pattern, and the three and a half inches of it that I did knit, I enjoyed very much. I just, it's not the right yarn. I just don't want to make it in this yarn, which is a real shame. It was the Crescent Bay shawl by Annika and Alice, and, uh, yeah, didn't, didn't manage it. Wrong needles, wrong yarn, just no. But anyway... Uh, that, so that was my contribution. <laughs> Go on then, Powell. I don't think I'd weave my ends in. Fine. Show me fine. <laughs> this. There you go, you can hold that end. This is my Rose Craddock shawl. Oh, it smells nice. What's yeah. it smell of? Uh, fabric softer, probably. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's my Rose Craddock shawl and it is knitted in Tibetan Owl, Owl Light Yarn Tibetan Owl, which is Merino Silken um, Yak. Yak. (laughs) (laughs) It's not a thing in Wales, but where I'm from in the Midlands, yak is another word for sick. So, yeah. To yak. So it's 20% sick. Nice. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. It's gorgeous, though. I love the colour. Bee. Pico beady bits. Yeah. And you did an extra... No, I didn't. No. I did a half a repeat less because I wasn't going to have enough yarn. And I really only did have a teeny tiny little did bit you? left at the end. Yeah. Totally but white yarn chicken. Think, yeah. I don't think you can tell very much. I mean, if you stare at it and study the border, you can see that I... But it kind of fits in with the border, though. Yeah. I think it's fine. Yeah. Oh, well, well done you. Hurrah. I finished one. Yeah. And we took this to Nottingham Nottingham just as a like a sample to display the yarn. Yeah. And lots of people. Went, so Ooh. it'll go to Exeter in a couple of weeks because we actually have a wall to put it on. Will we? Yes. Oh, yeah. Cool. Walls and everything. Walls. It's posh in Exeter. Fancy. Yeah. So yeah, so that was the Anakin Alice car. So thank you for everyone that joined in. Mm, definitely. Um, and on to the second knit-along. Well, before we say that, 
um, there'll be prizes yes. at the end of each cow. Yes. And um, we will be announcing the prize winners next week um, on Insta or thereafter on Instagram and Ravelry. Yes, and we'll, we'll leave burn the winners as well. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You won't miss out. And I waved, I should have thought, should I go and get the prizes? Or was... No. No. I waved the prizes <laughs> <laughs> on my last, I ought to go and get the prizes. People who oh, donated okay. prize, talk amongst yourselves. And don't look at my tracksuit bottoms. I'm only saying no because I haven't actually got round to deciding what it is that I'm going to give for a prize yet. Um, and I don't know that Zoe has actually. We were... We, we should be on top of this, given that we're hosting the cow, but um, we're lagging behind somewhat. Have you decided what you're giving? For what now? For this, for your prize. No. Yeah, see. That's I'm fun. back. But other people have been lovely and much better prepared than us. Yes, indeed. So, first up, much kudos to them. From... The very fantastic Leslie of Duckpool Lane. She's on Etsy. Such a cute card. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? I asked her why Duckpool Lane. Yeah. And she said it's because where her grandparents' house was on Duckpool Lane. Aww. So it was like a nice memory, which I thought was really fun. Anyway, so this is the fabulous project bag that Leslie donated. It's got trees. Let me see. And a little leafy stitch marker on the zip. And spots. Oh, it's really nice. And it's nice springy colours now. For coming yeah, into spring, isn't it? it is really nice, actually. And she also, this is the bag that I failed my Anakin Alice. <laughs> this along in. That's also Leslie's as well. So, yeah. Thank you very much for that prize donation. Oh, she's got posh bags as She's well. got posh bags. Look, it's um, got flowers on it. Super fancy. Now, I feel like an underachiever with my packaging now. Ugh. <laughs> this was, the next one is from Tracy of Make A Me. She hasn't got a business card in here. So, she is Make A Me on Etsy, and she specially dyed up a full skein of sock yarn and a contrast mini in the colours of our logo. That's so lush. Really, really lovely. So, it's 75.25. Um, 120 grams, 480 meters in a colorway knitting retreat custom, absolutely gorgeous. And she also made a project bag and a needle cozy. And if you can see, the fabric is like tea party fabric, and it's got snaps. That's what these white and bits it's very are here. similar to the to the design on our logo. Isn't yeah, it? very similar indeed. So that's going to be another prize. So thank you very much, Tracy and Leslie. Super generous. Really lovely. I'd be thrilled for those prizes. Can I enter? I really want to steal the yarn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, but no, we're not allowed. See, this is a definite downside. What, not being able to steal the yarn because we showed it in public? Yeah, there was no yarn. No. She just it sent it back. garage. <laughs> Right, so that's that's the prizes for the Anna Canales knit along. Um, next, next, right. Moving on. So, we were basing our alongs on the tutors. Yes. One along for each tutor for every quarter. Yes, because there are four tutors. So there are four tutors. You see what we did there. Four quarters make a whole. Yeah, exactly. Or a year. Yeah. Yeah. That too. Um, so next up is going to be the knit along associated with Jen Best who is Beaker Buttons, and she's teaching a Dorset Buttons workshop. At the two workshops? Yes, two. So many of you wanted to learn how to do it. We had to put on two. Which is fab. Which is fab. Yeah, so we get to keep her for longer. Yeah, <laughs> that's really nice. So, yes, Jen Best. You can find her online. She is beakerbutton.co.uk. Um, she's also on Etsy, again, as Beaker Button, and we'll leave links to everything. Um, and Instagram Instagram she's Beaker Button on Instagram as well and she's lovely we met her at Wonderwall didn't we we did when we were having a wander on the Sunday mornings we didn't have anything to do yeah um, so we had a good wander all around the uh, halls nearest to the stand 
and we came across her stand and we were sort of looking at each other going, oh, oh, mm, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she does workshops. Yeah, and she did. Yes. And the rest is history. <laughs> so when we release this video, will the emails have gone out telling everyone which workshops they've got? If we're on the ball. Yeah, hopefully you will all, that's on our list for this afternoon, but yes. time is running away like wild horses over the hill. And I have man flu. And she's not well. She might not last the video actually. No. I might just have to smother her with a cushion. I might have a little nap. Yeah. That'll get me through. Little yeah. snooze. Um, I've lost my thread now. Email classes. Yes. yes. We're going to try and email you all so you know what your selections are. Have you compiled that PDF? You yes, that last did night, that last night. Oh, so yeah, we'll definitely be able to do it then. Okay, so oh, wow. for those of you that are doing the beaker button workshop at the retreat, by all means, feel free to make beaker buttons for the button along. Um, but this is going to be anything in the round along, basically. Yes, anything that you can sell to us as circular. Yeah, see? <laughs> circular buttons around, sometimes. So... By all means, head over to Jen's website because she does sell kits. And we both bought a kit from her when we were at Wonderwall. So I took mine out of the bag and this is a £10 kit that I bought. Yes, I think mine was as well. And you get, um, this is just the, the front cover of it. Um, there's a little bit of history of the buttons on the back. I won't read that to you. <gasps> Oh, excuse um, me. And some really nice instructions with lots of pictures. And mine's a multi, a multi pack. There's five different designs worth of instructions in here. Yes. You also get a twizzle of hand dyed yarn. She dyes it herself, and I went for purple. Of course. Of course. And you also get a pack, and it's got ten rings in it. They're not. I think they are metal, and a embroidery needle as well. So everything you need in one pack and that's ten pounds um, and she does other kits as well doesn't she mm. all to do with the dorset button yeah but um variations of thereupon yeah so there's um the, the multi-pack kits like we got yeah there's some that are larger to make a brooch there's some jewelry kits um what else did wall i write down hangings. wall hangings like i think they're, they're maybe very clever aren't very they very clever like on embroidery. embroidery hoops yeah and then they've got you have to look at their website and their Instagram, but they've got little Dorset buttons as part of the design. Yes. So I really like that. Yeah. So do go and have a look. That's beakerbuttons.co.uk. So you can absolutely have a go at making um, a Dorset button for the along. Um, if and you... of course, if you're not coming to the retreat, you can absolutely have a go at making. Oh yeah, this isn't just for retreat buttons. attendees. No, this is for everybody. Everybody. Um, and you might be wondering what Jenny is doing very slightly off screen. <laughs> I'm making a dorset bit. It's a bit wibbly. So I'm thinking that I need to sit in the back of um, Jen's class and be taught how to make it not wibbly. Yeah. Um, She'd know how to not wibbly it. it. Yes. Oh, and something we didn't discuss. Obviously, it's going to be, you know, all the you know knitting and crochet. And it's not going to be just knitting. No. But how polycraftual can we go, given that this isn't actually knitting or... So we're going to be having knitting, button making and crochet. Yeah. Can we go completely polycraftual for this one? I don't see why not. If somebody wanted to make a bowl out of clay? Yeah. To be honest, the link has to be pretty thin. <laughs> 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 we'll accept almost anything as long as it's an honest try. Yeah. Um, so, for example, something that you've made yourself within the time allowed. Yeah. Something maybe you could knit anything you like, but if you do it while sitting on a spinny office chair twirling in circles, <laughs> that would certainly count. Photos, or it didn't happen. If yeah. I video, or it didn't happen for that. You yeah. could knit a blanket back and forth flat on a Ferris wheel, and it would count. <laughs> <laughs> and a Ferris wheel kind of looks like a button. Are you sure you're not poorly as well? Because you're getting a bit. Lupina. I'm very tired. I might be at the hysterical end <laughs> of exhaustion. Anyway, so anything in the round. So yes. socks would count, hats, yoked jumpers, you know, throw us a bone. We'll accept it. Um, no, bones aren't round. They are if you cut them through the middle. Ah, so bone craft we're talking. <laughs> Whittling with bones. It's getting really weird now. Okay. 
Um, Moving on. Yeah. So, so what do you plan to make? Well, I'm going to make my beaker button kit, which I now uh, can't find. Because uh, you... Oh, because it's under somewhere. my nose. So I'll be making five beaker buttons. One have, of you each. Got, have you got um, a reason to... Have you got something that you're going to use them on afterwards, or are you just making the buttons for now? I think I'm just making the buttons for now. But... Obviously, you can use them as buttons on a cardigan, but I've seen on her website, she has some socks. It was on her Instagram feed, and you knit socks with like a, a turned down garter cuff, and then these buttons are basically just as decoration. So they'd be nice if you had a hat, you could put them on the brim. And I've seen some patterns for fingerless gloves where you have like a tab. Yeah. With a button tab. Um, so no, I'm just going to make them for, this, for the joy of making them. And maybe I could put a pin on the back and it could be a brooch for my um, pinny. Yes. We're supposed to be making purple pinnies for when we work on the stands and then we will have somewhere nice to put our badges and things. So we, maybe I've got to button it up. We have 29 days. I, I oh. could make five. Well, I've got ten. Maybe I could make more. And yeah, you know tiger. where the neck strap connects? Oh, yeah. My like, each. Um, like baby dungarees. Yeah. But it sounds a bit more stylish <laughs> in my head. Thanks. Maybe not. Well, you want pom pom trim as well, so yours is yes. going to be very um... yeah Stephen West inspired. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. Slash cat classic. Um, there's now going to be a small amount of outrageous self promotion because you could also knit, which is what I'm planning to do. One of my cow designs. So this is my Jackson's Bay cow. There's this one, which is tall and has a buttoned placket, so you could do um, dorset, dorset, buttons. dorset buttons for that. And this one's knitted in West Yorkshire Spinners, Frosher, Shetland, Tweed, Aran, or something. I'll link it below. Or there's the shorter one, which is knitted in Owl About Yarn, a very high Aran quality weight, yarn, that is. in a one-off Road Rage. No, that no. wasn't Road Rage. I can't remember what that was. But it doesn't well, matter it because you can't buy it anyway because, because it, it was, was a one-off. One off. Yeah. But anyway, so you can knit a cow. Um, and that's what you bought your yarn that you're going to knit yours in. No. Why didn't you bring it? You could have flashed your because yarn. Because it's like, the one for Rob is going to be like this, but it's the blue one. Oh, that you're doing it in this yarn, yes. are you? Yes. Okay. Um, and the one for me is um, purple and red. Oh, fun. Hmm. So yes, yeah, so you could knit my cows. End of shameless self-promotion. Hurrah. Um, in terms of prizes, when I bought my kit, um, there's a little tiny um, mini, just a one-button kit. That's nice of her to include. I know, it was lovely, wasn't it? So just enough to make one button, and there's instructions on her website. That's a point. If anyone has the makings of their own and doesn't want a kit off the website, you can go to beakerbutton.co.uk forward slash tutorial and there's some instructions on there so that's a little something I will be putting up um might be able to raid my stash for a bit of yarn or I might pick something <laughs> up at Exeter I think, I think you might have a bit of yarn and yeah, if not I think I, yarn. I think I have a bit of yarn <laughs> that I might be able to spare especially because it's it's mini skeins oh no you're not for this you mean for the thing yeah no Shh. see I, not even I know what you mean now carry on carry on so there'll be a little tiny one of these up for a prize um i can probably talk jenny into donating a skein and if there are anybody any watchers out there who would be interested in donating a prize all offers very gratefully yes. received indeed please get in touch yeah postcards to the usual address yeah what is the email address uh the nitty retreat at gmail.com the nitty retreat at gmail.com or you can direct message us on um Instagram or leave a message in the group because we do have a group. We didn't mention the group. Oh yeah, the Nitty Retreat group on Ravelry. The Nitty um, Retreat. We don't have a we don't have a Nitty Retreat um, um, profile on Ravelry. It's just us. So Pins and Needles UK and Owl About Yarn. If you wanted to send us a message on yeah. Ravelry, a direct message. Yeah. But yeah, we're we're reasonably easy to find in all the places. And I'll set up. Um, a peek a button along thread in the in the retreat group and while i remember the hashtag to use for social media is hashtag retreat button cow um so that you can search it up and see what everyone else is making yes and chat and chat and 
support yes. and such like. I think this is going to be really wibbly. That's okay. Maybe if I just oh look if I put so it around not it. Any, not mine. Well, it's blue. It's not purple. So yeah. Okay. So okay. Twenty second of January to the twentieth of April. Hashtag retreat button knit along. No whips. Anything in the round. Talk us into it. Um, what else have we been up to? For the retreat shenanigans. For the retreat. Well, last Wednesday we had a high powered business meeting. We did. And Wednesdays are a good day yeah. because you, your eldest boy can pick up Erin from school. Well, yeah, but not anymore because he's being um, rude and doing extra classes in the afternoons. Mm. And that's just very thoughtless of yeah. him. And I'm not on shift, so she, you come over to the yeah. island, don't you? I come to Barry Bados, Dunham, Barry the Bados. youngest in uh, Breakfast Club in school, mm -hmm. and hit the road. Yeah. Don't you come back? Oh, sorry. So we cover our my dining room table and laptops and <laughs> forty eight different coloured highlighters and posters. Oh, we notes. had we had charts last week. It oh was it was it was yeah. I think that was probably the most difficult job. Last week we sorted out who gets which workshops, and we had one massive list, one new list we were making and a spreadsheet in two different formats <laughs> four different colored pens highlighter post-it notes post-it notes there was two emails and about four and a half pints of tea yeah. and we had to take a break halfway through to stretch out <laughs> <laughs> we were in the kitchen sort of you know <laughs> yeah we had to have a little walk about working out the king spot yeah yeah no it was that it was, was a um, bit of a brain bender wasn't it the logistical yeah because there are 50 people, um, 27 of whom want a, a an third extra, class. An extra third class for an extra £30. And um, we really wanted to make sure that everybody got their first choice. Yeah. So we ended up having to put on an extra buttons class yep. and an extra brioche with Renee Callahan And an extra felting. And an extra needle felting. Which is a lovely problem to have, and they're all more yes. than happy with it. So yeah, everyone was pleased. That's and, good. Um, and yeah, we really wanted everyone to have their first and second choices if we possibly could. But it was a bit of yeah, not everybody got their second choices. But I think we managed first and third if we didn't manage yeah. first and second. I yeah. think. So I hope I really hope you're all happy with what you've got because we really did do our very best and put on extra classes to cover the uh, the extras. Yeah. We also did exciting things like take out event insurance. That was, oh, we did, didn't we? That was hugely fun. Yes. And that generated a whole new list of things to do, such as health and safety risk assessments. That's her job. So much fun. I kind of do those for work, so it's Checking not a problem. Checking your first aid training. Checking my first aid training. That's yeah. probably worth redoing anyway. So yeah, all exciting stuff. Although nobody's allowed to collapse because that's way too much like stress. Yeah. That's all and yeah. You'd be fine. Yeah. We're there for fun, not for collapsing. No collapsing, please. Thank um, you. And what else did we do? I think that was it. I think that was pretty much it. Oh, we went through the vendor applications. Yes, we've got some lovely people vending at the mini market. Very excited. We haven't told them yet. <laughs> we will have by the time this video goes out, but we can't announce but it now. All lovely. Yeah, we'll announce that later on. Yeah. So you can all start website stalking and yeah planning your purchases and things yeah. like that um so that's on our list to do today i think isn't it do we have any spaces if anybody else wanted to apply do you remember if there was any room i think we have if you've seen the location video the very first one we did um there's one large room one big room and at the moment with the number of vendors that have applied we will fill that room completely so if anybody yes, else is interested in applying, we can find another space, but it would be a second room, which is no problem, either in the main house or there's like an art gallery. Well, we've already bit. got an option on the gallery. Yeah, so. attached to the cafe. So if anyone is interested in vending, um, do get in touch with us and we can absolutely find a bit more space. Not a problem. More the merrier. Yeah, and that would be on the Sunday afternoon, the 21st of October. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just bear in mind that it would be... We wouldn't have you stuck on your own. We'd, we'd have enough extra oh, no, vendors we'd, to we'd, fill the gallery we'd space. Jiggle it around a bit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, being in the gallery space might be the best option because you are closest to the tea and cake. Yes, it's attached to the cafe. 
like moths to a flame. <laughs> oh, we and also we're, um, we also went teapot hunting. You don't remember? She's not well. We we've been thinking along with this my on Christmas trip. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my mum is very crafty as well, and um, I was talking to her about how we were going to try and decorate the venue so it looks nice. Um, Get the tissue. Black belt. Oh, okay. Small interlude. Um, so there's a horrendous trumpeting sound off screen. That's <laughs> Jenny clearing her sinuses. Um, so yeah, I was talking to my mum, who has some lovely ideas about table centrepieces and things. Um, and so we decided we needed some second-hand teapots to yes. do these arrangements with. So I said to Jenny, let's go on a charity shop hunt round Penarf, which is the next town over, and it's really posh. Totally so we failed. thought uh, we thought they would have some really nice china. It was like the end of days, wasn't it? It was raining <laughs> it was so hard. It was raining up. It, yeah, it rains <laughs> up in Wales, which is when it rains so hard it hits the pavement and then goes back up your trouser legs about four feet about yeah. four feet so you're soaked <laughs> from the feet up to the knees so we didn't find any secondhand teapots there no um but yeah that we was a fun find, we did find a book about toilets we did find a, big, a book about but we didn't buy it we didn't buy that <laughs> found something for max's christmas stocking in a charity shop which i completely forgot to give to him oh you rubbish that and dave's yeah. stick you didn't give to oh, him oh i still haven't given dave's christmas <laughs> stick Anyway, so we went shopping for retreat stuff and failed miserably, mm. but we've got plenty of time. So. Yeah, and I got a flapper dress for Erin, so you, she was highly delighted. We watched Strictly on Christmas Day. And we had a Christmas sandwich, didn't we? Oh, that was good. That was really good. Really good. Nice crusty baguette with Christmas dinner in it. And, and a little um, roast potatoes. In a pot with gravy. Really good. Yeah. So we did that. Um, do you know what else we did? Do you know what else we did? No. Jenny comes to see me at work and we train together. Oh, yeah. And so we trained and then I was stood behind the reception desk and I actually had to do some work. There was a member there asking questions. It was very rude, I felt. Mm. And Jenny was noodling about on her phone. I was like, what are you doing? She was planning. Oh, yes. On the, yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. The next retreat. The next retreat. So, <laughs> assuming that everything goes well this yes. year, which it totally is. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. That's made of wood, right? Yeah, that's made of wood. You can touch that, knock on wood. So we're going to do a second knit tea retreat in October 2019. Are we? Yeah. Also a Cardiff one. Yeah, so we're going to do right. this year's Cardiff knit tea retreat. We'll also do it again <laughs> in 2019. But we're going to do a second retreat, a, a new kind of retreat in summer of 2019. Yes. Yes, we are. Oh, yes. We haven't decided on a name if it's going to be... I think it'll still be the Nitty Retreat because it's us. Yeah. It'll just be a different sort of Nitty Retreat. Just a retreat. different sort of Nitty Retreat. Yeah. So this one, obviously, focus. is workshoppy learning doing sort of retreat. And the one next summer is going to be a... More of a relaxing... Relaxing, mooching... Yeah. Sort of retreat. Yeah, not so much brain power needed. Yeah, sitting around, like one long knit night, basically. Yes. Yes. So we're looking at June. My birthday. Yeah, June. <laughs> um, and my, we're my... probably going to do it in the Midlands, Stratford-on-Avon, which is where I'm originally from. Um, and we might find someone to give us some talks. We might manage a trip out and about to somewhere crafty. Yeah. So we're thinking about that already. There's plenty within reach up there, though, isn't there? There is plenty within reach up there. Ooh, I tell you who we should talk to for ideas is um, the stitches and hose people who arrange yarning them. Because yeah. they'll know yeah. about craftual people up there. They might well do. Mm. So that's what we have been up to. And it's going to fall right by my 40th birthday, so you can bring more presents. <laughs> Yeah. And cake. There'll and have cake. to be lots of cake. Perfect. We'll sing. We'll give you the bumps. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be nice. I have to share my birthday with Father's Day this year. Oh. So last year I had to share my birthday with my sister in law's wedding, which was rude. And this year it's Father's Day. I think being 40 totally trumps Father's Day. Oh, well, it'll be the day. B the, my birthday's on a Monday next year. Okay. So it'll be the day after Father's Day. Oh, well, that's okay. Mm. Right, 
so I think that is everything, unless it's everything on my piece of paper. I think that's it then. I think that's it. So yes, hashtag retreat button cow, uh, 22nd of January to the 20th of April. Beaker buttons, anything in the round, go for it. Come find us in the Ravelry group. Any questions, you know where we are. Yeah, just <laughs> chuck us a line. But yeah, it's it's fairly open. Yeah. Just, just, yeah. Yeah, and bonus prize for anyone who knits whilst on a Ferris wheel. Or a spinny chair. Or a spinny <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> it's going to get all tangled. It's going to go horribly wrong. I don't want to see the vomiting that no. happens if you get travel sick. No, definitely not. Maybe not on, on the chairs. Oh, God. Do you think you actually could knit on a waltzer? It depends if one I think of those there really are... nasty men come and spin, spin it. it. And make you go far too fast. You wouldn't be able to do it then. On a carousel. You could do it on a carousel. Very ladylike. Like Mary Poppins side saddle. <laughs> oh, well, when it comes back in the summer, we've got to try that now. Oh, we do the one on the island. Is that there now? There's a little kid's one on the front. I don't know about the big one. Um... We'll try and find a carousel. <laughs> <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Right, I think that's the lot. We've got to go and do some more work now, and Jim the yeah. dog needs a walk. So, I've knitted um... on a broomstick. Okay. That's all from us. Just going to leave that there. Tune in next time. I think I need to find more out tea. what she's actually talking about. <laughs> right. Onwards. 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 We'll see you in Ravelry. We'll see you on Instagram. Take care. Bye. 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 Have you got a tissue in case you explode in sneezing? There's a box right there. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Suddenly, it's me. How's that? You can't tell I'm wearing tracksuit bottoms if we leave it like that, so that's perfect. Let's go. Helps if you have the that's a view of a list. Can I make my button while we're recording? Well, that'll give it all away. Give what away? Well, the secrets of button making. I don't think I know of any secrets. Look, it's all wibbly. It's off centre. I can, I can just, I can, all right, I'll knit. It's fine. Well, I haven't got my knitting. Why haven't you got your knitting? Well, because I've... I've got to do, I've got to pick up stitches. Oh, okay. Or knit a Well, look, knitting. you're more compost mentis today anyway, so... Compost mentis? Yeah. I could hold the yarn for you. No, no. <laughs> you can, you're in charge of making sure okay. that we say everything that we're supposed to say, and I'll just sit and look crafty. <laughs> I thought you meant, like, crafty. <laughs> okay, you ready? As ready as I'm ever going to be. Okay, as ready as a dog in a trap. At the races. Ready. Waiting to get back okay. to the rabbit. Okay. <laughs> uh, did I tell you about that time we were camping? You know when we borrowed your tent? Yeah. And in the field we were staying in, randomly on the Sunday, like 50 people turned up and set up dog traps and had dog races. <laughs> And we came out of our tent and we were like, can anyone else see the whippets or is it just me? Did you enter gym? No. Aww. But they were really good. They had a wire. But you would be really the, confused about With the wire. gerbil on it or we're whatever. It, I know. It was like a fake gerbil on this string. And then at the end they had hay bales because the dogs were going so fast. Aww, they slammed into they the hay bales. something to crash into. Aww. And then they had a first timers race. And see, that was a gym. Do you know that Monty Python sketch? Um, no. The Silly Olympics. No. And it, they, oh, it's hilarious. And they have I a hundred got meter. I watched Monty Python when I was growing up. They so. had a hundred meter dash for people with no sense of direction. <laughs> so they're all lined up, crouched, and then this guy fires the gun, and they just go poof. <laughs> like this. this is not and that's what the first time dog race was like. <laughs> oh God. Anyway, how do we get onto that? Ready as a dog in a Ready trap. Ready as a dog in a trap, okay? Yeah. yeah.